In this video, we will learn how to use sigma notation to compute summations. Here, the questions will be like this. You have the summation symbol that is also called as sigma. And what this means is you need to multiply 3i squared where i, i is being squared, i can vary from 1, 2, 3 until the maximum limit of 6. So it starts at 1, ends at 6. You don't need to go to use any formulas. We can directly solve these by using calculator. I will show you now. All you need to do is press shift and this over here log base symbol and you will get the summation. But here you don't have i instead of i it's x variable x that's fine. Wherever you see this below term it can be even changed over here it might be m. If this is m and there will be m over here you need to substitute that as alpha x in your calculator because your calculator only takes x values. And the square over there and you start at press the next and you start at 1 and end it at by pressing up 6 that is your answer 273 you can compute by summing it or by formulas you'll get the same answer same thing over here all you need to do is change these limits it start, ends at 7 but it starts at 3 and over here we have i squared that is alpha x squared plus x and that is your answer 160 similarly please do try them all by yourselves and you can check the answers over here even if you use the formulas you will get the same answers now these are pretty simple all these work let's just try this one as well because it's a huge number it is 8 minus x it starts from 1 and goes up until 50 it, it might take some time and the answer is minus 875. So that's it. Sometimes it might take about 30 seconds, 12 seconds, you know, it varies because I remember my students in the class were counting the time and telling me as well. All these over here, there is N, right? Instead of I, but in your calculator, it will be X itself. Very straightforward problems. All these are same, but we will go to one more type of problems over here. You know it starts k is equal to 3 and ends at n which is not known and over here it's k squared minus 3. So let's write it out. Shift and log base symbol you get this sub summation alpha x squared. Why I put x instead of k because k is the uh, limit over here. x squared minus 3 it starts at k equals 3 and ends at n which I do not know, but I'll just assume a number. Don't assume a big number. Don't take 100 or something. I will just take over here, say 20. You can take 10, doesn't matter. Okay. And the answer over here is 2811. Now look into all the four options. This is question number 11. You'll have four options. And this is the final answer. You will have four different answers having the variable n. Now remember this answer, 211. Type this out as it is. I'll just type instead of n, I'll put it as x, alpha x, plus 1, close the bracket. And again, open the bracket. It is 2 alpha x plus 1. Close the bracket and go down over here at 6. And we subtract 3 times alpha x plus 1. Sorry, that is not correct. Alpha x plus 1. Now calculate it at the n value which I used. I had used 20 and this answer must match. It is 2811. Only one option will match with your question. All the other options will give you something other than 2811. Only this particular correct option will give you the correct answer. So this is how even if there is n you can easily solve it up. You can try this by yourselves. Just take any n value. Substitute any n value. You can substitute say 10. And find the answer write it down then look into all the four options and substitute over here instead of n as the n value you are chosen you are chosen 10 substitute everywhere 10 and compare only one option will give you the correct answer so that will be your answer so this is how easily you can solve the summation problems in calculator